To begin with, for those of you who are old subscribers, check out the link in the description to get an explanation of where I've been. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Hello Warband Enthusiasts! Welcome back on this fine new day. Today I will be covering the partial conversion mod called Evlat for Mountain Blade Warband. I've done a full playthrough of this mod, so I will be giving both my opinion of the mod based off of my personal experience, a summary of the features of the mod and how it works, and finally a brief context of the mod and its storyline. As I talk, I will be showing off gameplay footage of Evlat. For those interested in downloading Evlat, you can do so from the link that is in the description. If you are interested in seeing me do a gameplay playthrough series of Evlat, let me know in the comments. Anyways, without further delay, let us begin. Evlat is set in Calradia, yet is set 20 years in the future and has many new added locations, items, troop types, and gameplay features. The game overall plays very similarly to Vanilla Warband, yet, however, there is now a full story mode, similar to the story mode in Viking Conquest. The mod developer is not a native English speaker, though, so much of the dialogue is in somewhat broken and grammatically incorrect English, yet overall, it is quite good. The mod is also available in Turkish and Russian. Starting with the story, you are, as prior stated, in Calradia, 20 years in the future. The original rulers remained in power for many years, but all the claimants were able to usurp the various kings, so now the official rulers of each faction are the claimants from Vanilla Warband. Due to this turmoil, there are now two new types of bandit and allied parties per faction on the map. These units are Dark and Loyal Knights, Bear Hunters and White Marksmen, Black Kergit and Grey Kergit Riders, Jimny Pirates and Nordland Warriors, Desert Gazelles and Sultan Guards, and finally the Braganka family and Balonians. You married and had a daughter and son, yet your wife left you, letting you raise up your children alone. Eventually, deciding to become an adventurer with your children. All the companions from Vanilla can no longer be recruited as heroes. Rather, they are all throughout the map filling various roles in the main quest. The game begins with some cheesy dialogue telling you that your possessions were stolen and that you must go purchase tea at a new location called Jiraiya Inn. However, to get the tea, you must repair a tunnel and then become a swordmaster and then gain the favor of someone, and on and on. One thing leads to another, and suddenly the story escalates massively, causing you to become shipwrecked on an island, and eventually sold as a slave where you work to regain your freedom. All in all, the story isn't superb, but it is nonetheless still quite enjoyable, and adds a lot to the otherwise dull warband. Among new features, you may now dream, which you can do once every 12 hours. While dreaming, you can complete one of six quests that are randomly chosen, which, if you successfully complete, will give a boost to your party's morale. If you lose, it doesn't give any negative effects. Among some of the quests are a flying carpet ride, a three-way pistol duel, and a weeping angels type scenario. Another added feature is jobs, which is partly taken from Viking Conquest but expanded upon in Evlat. You can now fish, mine, woodcut, farm, and become a trader most of which are only done in one part of the story, but it is still fun and interesting nonetheless. Additionally, you can now use a raven to communicate with any kingdom to ask for aid on the basis of your relationship with that kingdom. You can now also become a caravan master, slaver, or bandit with associated side quest lines for each. All in all, Evla is an enjoyable mod. The English is subpar, which takes a bit away, and the story is quite silly, but overall, it is a really fun mod to play. I really never experienced any noticeable or major bugs in my playtime, so the mod is quite stable. I would heartily recommend you try out Evlat. It allows you to play the vanilla warband you love, yet it allows you to have some fun doing various questing, something that the Mountain Blade series in general lacks. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and staying as long as you have. Let me know what you thought of the video and if you'll try out Evlat now. Do you think I should start a gameplay series of Evlat? Are there any other mods you want me to do a showcase on or gameplay series? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by leaving a like or comment. If you did not enjoy, let me know how I can improve. If you don't do either, I hope every time you play Mountain Blade, your feasts will be raided and bandits will drink from your skull. Live life to its fullest, regret nothing. Have a great day wherever you are, in the big massive world we call home. Grinch out.